previous versions of Microsoft Office had what was called the menu bar at the top where you would click on the menu item and then a drop down list of options would appear vertically down the screen. Well now Microsoft has replaced the menus with what's called a ribbon and basically it just goes horizontally across the screen based upon these tabs at the top. You have a home, insert, page layout, references, mailings, review, and view. And then depending upon the items on your screen you might end up having a few other ones like format and things like that. The home tab contains all of those items that are for the most part very common features such as formatting of your text and notice your font section is all grouped together right here has the word font right there and notice in the lower right hand corner of many of these groupings there is a little button and if you click that button a pop-up window will appear that is very familiar to what you had in previous versions of Word and we'll just flip through these. Insert tab is for anything that you can insert onto your page. Page layout is for the setting the margins and whether you want it to be portrait or landscape and things like that. References have to do with footnotes and bibliographies and is it APA or MLA style and so forth. Mailings, uh, if you're doing mass mailings and you want to personalize items, you would use the mailings tab. Review. You have your spelling and you have your research, thesaurus, word count, you have a translate and things like that, comments that you can add, track changes, and view whether you want to see it one page, two pages, or how you want to split your screen view up and view it while you're working. So that is the main difference right now that you will see between Microsoft Office the previous older versions like Office 2000 and 2003 and the newer versions such as Office 2007 and 2010.